What's up everybody? I got another juice review for you today. And it is Oh shit, I forgot actually. <laughs> for a second there. Brain fart. Deep Purple by Ultimate Juice. Now, this one was another interesting one for me because it was one of those ones like the previous juice review that I just couldn't nail down. It was that menthol one part I know I got in there which is very subtle so it might actually you know appeal to uh, people who don't like menthol because it's a, to me a very mild menthol but it's that black current it was I just couldn't nail it I, I just couldn't I don't know what the best way would to explain how black curtain is is basically I guess you could say a very least to me a very mild uh, maybe black licorice I mean it, it for me it's hard to distinguish if I'm wrong guys for you guys in the UK please let me know because it's a UK juice so <laughs> I'll just get into it here. Sorry, another brain part. 50 ml bottle. Since it's a UK juice, they do have to comply with the TBD compliant laws. So, it will all will be zero neck. You will have to get your neck shots. Um, it is a 70-30 BGPG. So, you should get some pretty good flavor out of it. Um, as always, guys bottle will be right there and not child peeling whatsoever pretty straightforward usual warning labels 18 plus um vape's pretty good though i'm impressed very impressed got a little change up for uh rda's guys it is at 90 watts on my liar mod with the goat by Grim Green and Umboy OC. Um, not exactly matchy matchy because the only blue mod I honestly have that would fit it is my Snow Wolf M thing, and my dumbass forgot to charge the damn batteries in it, so my dumbass fault there. But airflow's wide open. Let's give it a two, shall we? For it being a 70-30, you know, pretty good club production. Definitely a black current uh, with a very mild menthol. So, for me, it's pretty good. Uh, 0.21 ohms, sorry, guys. Uh, the goat head I have in here. The review for the goat will be coming out soon, guys. I just gotta record it. So I'll probably be doing next. Um, but not a bad juice, guys. Seriously, it. Let's see, on a scale of one to ten, I would say it's a six. I mean, it for me, it's okay. You know, it's not bad. It's not great. Um, black currant's definitely one of those ones. It's maybe an acquired taste for you guys. Um, for you guys in the UK, you know, it might be a thing. For us in the U.S., never really heard of it until I vaped the previous one, so it's not bad. So I can't say if I hate it or like it. It's well, I guess you could say I don't hate it, but I mean, it's to me, it's okay. It's vapable. You know, it, it's not in the flavor profile, but. I kind of get maybe a slight grape. I don't know. Maybe it's like a... Not a black... Why can't I fucking talk? Not a black li licorice, but maybe more like a... Grapey black li licorice type? I don't know. Guys, uh... For you in the UK, 
put a comment down below of, in a sense, what is the correct profile in a sense of black current? I'm probably saying it bloody wrong anyways, but it's kind of hard for me to nail nail down. Seriously. I mean, if it's a thing for you guys, go, go grab a bottle. Um, I've seen it roughly... Um, nine ninety nine pounds for a uh, thirty mils, so fifty mils, probably double that. So around, if it ever came to the U.S., maybe twenty twenty five bucks, roughly. Um, but not bad. It's it's pretty decent. I I'm enjoying it. So. Go pick one up if it's a thing for you guys. Seriously, it's not that bad. And as always, guys, social media links will be down below. If you're not subscribed, why not hit the subscribe button so you can watch me make a fool of myself. And as always, guys, see you on the next one.